So here we have a nice Putnam question. Let's do it. It says this limit as x approaches positive infinity of 1 over x and then says a to the x minus 1 over a minus 1 and then it's here raised to the 1 over x. We're given a couple of conditions here. So for example, like x is greater than 0, we're told a does not equal to 1. And I'm going to solve this for the following case. For example, when a is greater than 1. You should also, on your own as an exercise, consider the case between, say, 0 and 1. So we have a variable base or variable exponent. This is, again, this is a changing base, right? Each x changes the value here, and then it changes the exponent value. Different x, different base, different exponent value. So variable base, variable exponent. So we can say the limit as x approaches positive infinity of e to the ln of this gnarly looking expression 1 over x a to the x minus 1 over a minus 1 and then close the brackets and then put the 1 over x right here that's a legit move now this quantity can be brought by the power rule down so it's going to be in other words e and then also because e is continuous you can put the limit into the exponent so bring this down put the limit into the exponent so it's e to the limit as x approaches positive infinity of ln and then that 1 over x that basically kind of like comes out here see and then you have 1 over x here and then a to the x minus 1 over a minus 1 so now this is multiplication right here and then further this is division so we're gonna have e to the limit as x approaches positive infinity of 1 over x for now this is going to become addition right and then this will convert into subtraction by the rules of logs so it's going to be ln and then further since it's going to be ln of 1 over x i'm just going to write it as x to the negative first for now and then the other parts would be plus basically the ln of a to the x minus 1 and because this is division it would become minus ln of a minus 1 there you go. So it's a pretty gnarly looking expression there. We can handle it though. So it's going to be e and then the limit as x approaches positive infinity. So here you're going to take this x in the, den in the, in the denominator right here. And you're going to distribute it across each term. And then this negative 1 here we can bring out front. So you're going to end up with the following. Negative ln x over x. And then further we would have, let's see, plus ln of a to the x minus 1 over this x and then minus ln of a minus 1 over that same x right here. All right, again, this is an expression in the exponent. Can we find these limits now? In other words, we have this limit. We can just distribute it to each expression in the bigger expression. Let's work them independently. So you're going to have the limit as x approaches positive infinity of negative ln x over x. Again, this would be something of the form infinity over infinity more or less you would have the limit as x approaches positive infinity and then this would be negative 1 over x and then over 1 but this is just equal to 0 that's done we know that this here is 0 okay then you got to work on this second one so the limit as x approaches positive infinity of this expression so ln of a to the x minus 1 remember a is greater than 1 here and then this is x so here, if you think about it, it's basically of the form likely infinity over infinity. If you graph ln of a to the x minus 1 and then x independently. So let's do this. This differentiates. So we're going to have the limit as x approaches positive infinity. All right. And then this is going to be 1 over a to the x minus 1 by the rule for ln and then multiply by the derivative. So that would be just ln of a times a to the x, the negative 1 would go away, and then divide by the derivative of x, which is 1. So let's simplify this a little bit. It's going to be the limit as x approaches positive infinity, and then here it's going to be ln of a, and then a to the x over a to the x minus 1. What happens here? Let's think about this carefully. So this is a constant. So you pull it out. And then we have a to the x over a to the x minus 1, and the limit is as x goes towards positive infinity. Well, when x goes towards positive infinity, the limit is the same as the limit 
as x approaches positive infinity of a to the x over a to the x. In other words, doing a minus 1 on a to the x when x is huge, like this minus 1 becomes irrelevant, right? So we, we end up then with ln of a. So that takes care of this part right there. And then we just have this last part left. Well, we have ln of a minus 1. It's like a constant, and we have x in the bottom. So that limit, I'll write it down here. We're going to have the limit as x approaches positive infinity of ln of a minus 1 over x. That's just 0. That's like a constant, so the bottom becomes infinite. It's like a constant over a huge number, 0. Which means all that is left over, lastly, is e to the 0. So from right here, I did this right here, so that's a 0 part there. Now we know that this one right here, to be clear, that was just, let's see, that was just equal to ln of a, actually. So you're going to have plus ln of a. And then the last one right here, uh, we know that that was just equal again to 0. So we have plus 0. Beautiful. Which means all that remains is e to the ln of a. But of course, e and ln are inverse functions. So you cancel that off and you just end up with a, whatever a happens to be. Excellent. This is all of the work. Friends, if you are into math videos at this level or higher levels, more interesting videos in math, non-routine videos, please be sure to like and subscribe. I would encourage you strongly to consider doing the case where A is between 0 and 1 on your own as an exercise. I'll see you in another video.